Hey everyone, today I want to go through some machine learning basics. Let's start by talking about two types of machine learning problems, supervised and unsupervised. A third category would be reinforcement learning. If you want me to do a video about that, let me know below in the comments, but we're going to focus on these two, starting with some examples. So say you're asking the question, is this a picture of a dog? Your answer is going to be yes or no. Is this user likely to book of late? Yes or no. Is this a fraudulent transaction? Yes or no. Is this a cat, dog, or bird? So three choices in this case, rather than just two. And these examples illustrate supervised learning problems. And within supervised, these would be classification types of problems, where they can be binary, yes, no, true, false, or multi-class, like the last example, cat, dog, bird, or house, condo, townhome, apartment, those kinds of things but they're defined choices or categories that we're working with. Now, importantly, supervised learning only works if you have a labeled data, hence the little tag here on the top. And by labeled data, we mean that, for instance, if you pass in a picture of a cat, there's a label on it that says this is a cat. If we didn't have the label for the cat picture, then we wouldn't be using supervised learning in that instance. So it's all about the labeled data. Moving on, maybe we're not asking a question that requires a yes or a no, but something like, how much rent should I charge for a three-bedroom vacation rental? In this case, we could use the data to plot out values of other vacation rentals, where we have the number of bedrooms on the x-axis and the price per night on the y-axis. And then we find the line that fits those points. And by using that line, we can then connect our three-bedroom rental to a price and we're going to call it $170 per night. That's an example of a regression problem where you're working with continuous values like rent prices or stock prices or predicting the sales of a product. Next up, how about a question like this? What are my customer segments? Maybe we find something like this where they kind of cluster together. We've got big spenders who have a smaller amount of purchases but a higher price point each time and then what we're calling small spenders who have more transactions, but at a lower cost per transaction. This is an example of unsupervised learning. And the key difference here is that you're using unlabeled data. In other words, when we passed in existing customer data, we didn't have a field called big spender or small spender. We didn't even know that we had these two customer segments. Instead, we had information about purchases and the amount of spend then using those two bits of data, we were able to find patterns in the data and realized that we have these two distinct groups of customers. And clustering, which is what we just saw, is a common example of an unsupervised problem. You're grouping data into clusters based on similar features. Another example would be maybe you've got a bunch of patient data, and when looking at different features of the data, you find that you've got one group that responds well to treatment and one who doesn't. Next up, anomalies or outliers. Looking at this graph, it's easy to see that we have an anomaly for energy consumption at around hour 16, and then it drops back to normal. There's definitely something here that would need to be investigated. And anomaly detection is another great example of unsupervised learning. You could also use this to find suspicious network traffic or abnormal heartbeats. Okay, now it's your turn. Let's look at a few examples and see if you can figure out what type of machine learning problem this is. So say that your sales department needs to predict if a customer will leave. What kind of problem would you say this is? This will be a binary classification problem. So we're trying to predict true or false, will the customer leave or not, so binary. And this is an example of a supervised problem where you can train the model on historical data for customers who did leave, and you'd have a label in there that says yes, they left, or no, they didn't. Okay, nice work. Next example. A retail store wants to predict how many units of a product they'll sell next month. What type of a problem is this? This will be a regression type of problem because the output, which is product demand, is going to be a continuous numerical value. It could be 10, it could be 1,000, so somewhere on that range. And you're going to have historical data, like time of year, promotions that were running, previous demand. All of that is labeled data that you could use to predict the demand. So, supervised. 
Okay, final example. A company wants to group employees based on their skills, training history, and performance metrics to identify common gaps and offer tailored training programs. What do you think? This is an example of a clustering problem. You'll group employees into clusters based on similarities of their skill sets and their training needs, but you're not going to have predefined labels, making it an unsupervised learning problem. All right, that does it for this video. I hope that helps you understand some of these core concepts for machine learning. If you like this type of bite-sized technical content, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything in the future. Thanks so much for watching.